Here's a live look tonight. The former Millard Fillmore Gate Circle Hospital here in Buffalo. It will take about 15 seconds in 13 hours from now, and this building will be nothing more than a pile of rubble. This is actually going to be somewhat of a social event with a lot of people making plans to come downtown and see this building implode. Now, if you want to watch this in person, you need to get to the viewing area early. Streets will be completely shut down by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, an hour before the switch is flipped there. There. Take a look at this map. Roads in this section of the Gate Circle area will start closing at 3 in the morning tomorrow. This area includes Delaware Avenue from Delavan to West Ferry. This 11-story building all set to come down at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Crews say they will use up to 500 pounds of dynamite, and the collapse is only, again, expected to take about 15 or 20 seconds. Now, there is something else that is going up in this neighborhood. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is live outside of the former hospital today. Well, Keith, this is what's going up in the neighborhood. Protest signs like this. Turns out there are a number of people who live very close to the old Millard Fillmore Gates Hospital that are very concerned that as the old building comes down, it now sets the stage for new development that could bring down the neighborhood. And that's why they're taking action like this to make sure that city officials hear their concerns. Uh, right now, the implosion scheduled for Saturday, October 3rd at 7 a.m. Uh, is all on schedule. With the final countdown now underway for the implosion of the old Millard Fillmore Gates Hospital Tower, many people are very excited to witness the event. And like my next neighbor is like, oh, like I'll get the popcorn and the mimosas ready. So it's going to be quite the show. But some in the surrounding neighborhood aren't so thrilled. It has been a perfectly functional hospital and the people who supported destroying it and sending it downtown are the persons who profit from the destruction. Others worry about what the implosion will eventually lead to, and several protest signs are now placed. But we're concerned about a blanket uh, designation for retail. We don't want a big box retailer going in in a historic residential neighborhood. Tia Montante Development is working to redevelop the vacant former hospital site into a mixed-use district with grocery store, health and wellness center, apartments, and and retail space. And upset residents worry that rezoning this area will ruin the character of their historic neighborhood. And because part of the reason why I made the choice to be here was to see the character of these neighborhoods, see the potential of the city, and see it start to evolve. But if it becomes any town USA where you've got the same stores anchored at the end of a beautiful residential street, it'll be a big disservice. But city officials and the developers say they are listening to the complaints. As concerns are presented to us, we are presenting them and reviewing viewing them with the development team. Now the concerned residents plan to take their complaints to the Buffalo City Council on this Tuesday coming up. Now if you take a look over my shoulder, you can also see they're bringing in some heavy equipment right here. Right now, this will be used tomorrow to scoop up some of that debris that comes down. We asked the experts just how long should this take, and they say not more than 30 seconds from the first blast to the last piece of debris hitting the ground. Live in Buffalo, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News. All right, Ed, this is becoming quite an event, and you can watch the implosion from the comfort of your couch. We're going to stream it live on WKBW.com. That's also where you can find all the details on the road closures ahead of tomorrow morning. We have